Bravo everyone, hi and hello and <laughs> welcome back to my next reaction which is all about Serbia. So much like most of the artists for 2021, a lot of them were meant to go last year of course and it never ended up going that way so Serbia again following the bandwagon, Hurricane were meant to go uh, last year after winning the national final and of course didn't happen. I think it was earlier this year that they officially announced that they would be going back for Serbia. On Friday their song uh, got dropped. Uh, it was about five, five or six o'clock here where it ha um, when it got dropped. So this year their song is called Loco Loco which to be fair sounds like much like what we, they were going in for last year which is a very I don't know um, sort of Latin inspired female up-tempo bop which is probably on the sort of a trash bop but definitely with a good vibe so that's my expectations um obviously I haven't heard the song yet so this is gonna be completely fresh for me but from what I've gathered people do seem to like it so let's just hope it's the same for me anyway uh enough chit chat uh this is my take on Loco Loco hoping it's good oh okay this looks expensive already. <laughs> this intro is pretty cool, I don't know. I miss intros. It's still in Serbian. Yes! Is that Serbian? That is Serbian, yeah. Okay, there's a lot of strokes in this, but this has got a similar theme to Hasta La Vista, but it seems a little bit more accessible already. But it's definitely having that retro theme almost of, I don't know, they've got like 50s microphones, but like 70s disco balls, I'm so confused. But it's obviously a modern offbeat song, which is strange but cool. I actually really love about how all three get like individual singing parts in this. Like, you don't see a lot of girl groups where you get that, and it's nice that all three do get that. Okay, this chorus is actually pretty catchy. Maybe not as catchy as Hester the Beast, but this is still pretty catchy. Moldova, you've got competition in the female pop department. Okay, this is a breakdown, it's actually pretty cool, and I miss breakdowns when it comes to pops, actually. Must admit, I'm not really into female top bobs, but this is really enjoyable. Sometimes I wish I had my hair that frizzy, but <laughs> maybe not all the time. <laughs> the video looks really, really good though. Like, they've done well with that. Okay, so, um, yeah, it's kind of what I was expecting, to be fair. It's another upbeat song which um i'm actually really happy that it's still remaining in serbian because i was i was a bit worried they were gonna um go with english uh instead but they i only heard like a little tiny bit of english and then that loca loca bit which i think is spanish but my point is it's entirely in serbian so um i'm actually really happy with that because i was worried they were going to break away from that language I did see some people after the uh, release came out that people were like, oh no, not again. And you're just like, no, well, what, come on, what were you expecting? You know, were you expecting like a sort of slow ballad or something? Because I wasn't. I wouldn't say they exceeded my expectations, but I'm actually kind of happy that they've got they've gone with what I was kind of expecting. It's upbeat, it's somewhat, it's fairly catchy, I must admit. Um, I think Hasta La Vista was a little bit more accessible than the, than the Loco Loco is, but it's still good. It's still good and there's still a place for bops in the contest, obviously, and people are going to go for this. Maybe not so much as juries, but public will go for this. There's always a crowd. 
got Cyprus in there, we've got Moldova in there, so it brings more competition. So at least we've got a good mix of uh, female bops in there. What I love about the song in particular is the fact that with Hurricane, you, all three members get their own parts and it allows to, they allow the three members, it's probably the best way I can say it, to showcase their vocal ranges. And in my opinion, yes, Sonia's, Sonia, in my opinion, is probably the strongest of the three. And I can't remember the other two names and I'm really, really, really sorry for this, but it's nice to have, be able to hear all members of the group. The song, being honest, it's not something I would usually gravitate towards, but I still enjoy it. So that's definitely a good thing for me. I think the, the music video looks really, really good. And yes, it's carrying them with that retro theme again, which seems to be um, a big highlight at the moment in terms of this year's competition. And I think that music video, I think they they could take parts of that and definitely use that on stage. I'd say this is a, this is probably going to qualify. I don't know in terms of from there on how it would end up doing, but I think this could very well qualify with ease. So yeah, I'm well the most part and that it's an enjoyable song. It will at the moment I'm not sure where in my rankings it, it will be, but maybe with a few more listens, um this could potentially be pretty high in my rankings. Unfortunately I wished I could uh, I really wish I could say more on the song but my brain's just completely gone at the moment. I guess it's because of the amount of songs I've got to do, but um, overall I do enjoy the song. Not entirely for me, but I still see its strengths, and I think this could still do relatively well in the competition this year. So I'm very much looking forward to it. So put down in the comments what you think about the song. Um, do you think last year's was better? Do you think this year's is better? Could you say it's hard to compare? And also, how do you think Serbia's chances of qualifying will be? So. Up until that point, uh, thanks for watching, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one.